Well, good morning and welcome back to the Chaps Guide. And welcome to an absolutely brutal, sunny November morning in Southern England. I mean, this morning I got up and at five o'clock, the whole countryside was shrouded in mist. It was sub-zero temperatures, it was a thick frost. And right now it is just coming up to half past 10 in the morning and the whole world has changed. Um, the sun has been out all morning and it's absolutely glorious. It's one of those mornings that makes you just absolutely delighted to be alive. So today I thought I'd bring you an outdoor shave of the day to celebrate and to talk about a few things uh, because a few things have happened since I had my last outdoor shave and I thought we could chat about them as we have a shave this morning. Now one of the things that happened has been the sad passing of Sir Sean Connery. Now if you've watched my channel for any length of time you'll have noticed that I often make reference to James Bond when it comes to classical men's dressing and accessories because Bond very much set the blueprint for many of the things that us chaps take today for granted as traditional heritage men's uh, dressing and accoutrement and the things which we like to incorporate into our style. Uh, and of course with Sean Connery being what for most people is the physical embodiment of James Bond as he was the first actor to fulfill that role. Um, I like to think of him as James Bond in my mind, certainly he's the one I grew up with. Uh, so, you know, I'd like to celebrate his passing by using some traditional uh, products here that, uh, that Bond has referenced in a few of the books. And most notably today, I'm going to be shaving with uh, the Eucris brand shave cream which is a product of uh, George F. Trumper up there in London. Now, it was famously referenced in one of the Bond books. We'll talk about that. But to get started, I'm just going to carry on my normal shaving regime. And that involves, first of all, wetting the face, uh, just to get some fluid on the face. In truth, I should honestly, oh, just grab my towel from behind me. I should have got my lather going to start off, but no worries. So I'm gonna use the Eucris lather. This is fantastic stuff and today is a brush. I am using a Yaki, uh, I think this is the Timberwolf model which is the 26 millimeter brush. Synthetic of course so it doesn't need to be steeped unlike um, perhaps some of the other models like uh, boar hair or, or other hair but I'm just using a small enamel bowl and I'm going to build my lather in that. Make sure it's all nice with a bit of water and make sure we get a nice fluffy lather. Now the sun is beating down on me wonderfully today, I have to say, it's a joy to be alive. It's one of those autumn days, you know, we, we've had a sort of a week of heavy rain here in the UK, and it is a pleasure to have a morning, albeit rather cold, rather fresh. Uh, that said, you know, in direct sunlight, it's not unpleasant standing here in my undershirt, so no complaints from me. So just getting my lather nice and fluffy, bit of a souffle going on here which is what I like. My skin is still a bit damp, so this is perfect. So I'm just gonna get that on the skin and build myself a nice little lather. There we go. Now you, Chris, as I say, it's in the George Trumper catalog of products. And I love George Trumper. It's one of those ultimate men's classic shave houses, houses that, uh, you know, a bit like Taylor of Old Bond Street, D.R. Harris, um, and the others, the, the heritage ones. But it's Trumper, a bit like, to be honest, it's Trumper for me and Taylorsville Bond Street are the two I go to all the time. Uh, because of their proximity, you know, they're both quite close to each other. Trumper, of course, uh, got a couple of premises in London. Curzon Street, their original. And also they've got a place in, uh, I think it's Duke of York Street, which is just around the corner from German Street. So if you're ever in London, of course, as a chap, you know your pilgrimage will take you to German Street, the home of all those classic, classic men's style places like Dunhill and Floris and Taylorville Bond Street and George Trumper. So Trumper's made Eucharist for quite a while. I think originally it's been around since, you know, the uh, the early... 19th century or you know 1900s uh, and it's a really lovely uh, fragrance but we'll talk about that as we go along today what blade am i using well this is as it was halloween just a couple of days ago in fact today is november the 5th in the uk when i film this um, as it's halloween i'm using a franken razor which is my version of frankenstein's monster it is the gillette or the king what's it called the uh the the camp king camp 
Gillette razor um, shaft coupled with a Merca 45 Bakelite head uh, and inside I've got a hang on let me just check I can't remember what blade I've got inside I know you guys like to know it is the Dorco blade the Dorco blade not really familiar with them I you know I've been searching through the cabinet today and I found myself a fresh packet of blades and it was a Dorco so let's give it a go never shaved with this configuration before we'll see how it goes so the lather's on nice and good the Eucris the smell on the Eucris is unique I think it truly truly is unique it's barbershop it's traditional gentleman's uh, with a slight hint a slight hint of blackcurrant undertones which gives it an unusual fragrance and I reviewed the cologne recently in fact I'm going to be using that as my fragrance of the day at the end but I reviewed the cologne in a separate video on my channel and uh, I have to say I was very taken by it and the way I described it was and the more I think about it the more it works in the description terms something of the night about it there is an en a presence to it uh, and I said it's exactly the sort of fragrance that I would imagine a Bond villain uh, choosing because it has a certain fear factor to it you know it's a nice fragrance but it's got something about it which it's got an edge and I really love that it's very autumnal uh, but very masculine and powerful it's a power fragrance for sure uh, and it it translates very well to the shave cream I have to say so I'm enjoying this today now the reason I selected this as a with a bond theme a Sean Connery theme was in the uh, Fleming novel on Her Majesty's Secret Service it's one of the rare novels where Bond makes a reference to a, a product he is uh, in the field and he goes into the bathroom of one of the protagonists in that novel and in the bathroom the chap has Trumper Eucris amongst other things on his um, bathroom shelf presumably and uh, he actually mentions it and these things are rare occurrences now I have got a, a nick on my chin uh, that was a bit of a breakout a pimple I had before so it's not something I've cut myself today uh, don't be alarmed if you see some blood there we go so yeah you Chris has kind of got a bit of a reputation as a bond fragrance along with other you know fragrance houses like uh, Floris of course they they suggest that bond uses their stuff as well because Fleming was a customer there but it's fair to say that Trumper has the unique um, accolade that bond actually made reference to their product in one of the books so in fairness they've got a claim there to the bond legacy now of course sean connery wasn't in on her majesty's secret service it was that one time outing of george lazenby but there we go it's uh, it's a bond theme so we'll go with that so that was my first pass very quick very straightforward two days of sh uh, stubble there so i hacked it off pretty quickly um, nothing much to speak of and i will go for a second pass so let's get this up there perhaps get a bit better this time now the other thing I wanted to talk to today is to thank you really for tuning in because just recently I've passed the 1000 subscriber mark on this channel and of course that bloody fly bloody flies they're really uh, attracted to me now out here I'm the only target in the field I guess um, yes I passed the 1000 subscriber mark which of course means that which is a significant mark in the YouTube world because you get what's called monetization which allows you to have ads on your channel which can be a distraction uh, but I think most people understand that's par for the course with these things today now for me as a very amateur gentleman user of YouTube I've no intention of making any money out of YouTube um, you know I will go for the monetization because if nothing else it might offset some of the uh, the products which I buy and use on this channel it might open the door to allow me to do more uh, product stuff but I know for in reality being a very very tiny channel that nobody's interested in it'll be pennies small numbers of pounds that uh, that we generate so 
if you're offended by the ads, I do apologize, but it's kind of the YouTube route. So to get, to keep on board, you know, I'm gonna run a couple of ads on the videos, but please don't be distracted by them. It's a necessity. So moving forward, we've had that first pass. Now I'm gonna go for a second pass with my Franken razor. It doesn't feel the smoothest cut in the world. In reality, you know, the shaft shouldn't make any difference. The Bakelite um, razor, I found so incredibly light that I didn't get much joy out of shaving with it. So I thought adding the Gillette shaft would be helpful. And yeah, it does, it makes it feel a bit better. All right, so I'm gonna shave against the grain, just to get a bit more of an edge. It does feel quite, quite a close cut with this Dorker blade, actually. Can't say I've used it before. I'm pretty much use feathers and, and uh, Derby razors. And of course, feathers meant to have a reputation as being quite sharp. Uh, yeah, so yeah, quite a significant moment. It took us a, a year, just about, just under a year, to achieve the 1,000 subscriber mark, which uh, I kind of set myself as a bit of a goal early on. I thought if I can get to 1,000, you know, it's a venture that shows a little bit of success then. Uh, so I'm delighted to have got to that mark. And uh, we've had, I think it's something like, 6,000 hours of watched time by our subscribers. So that's quite a pleasing number as well, to know that people are enjoying what we do and the products that we put out there. The product, of course, just being, generally speaking, my review of the things that I use and my observations on style. I can only assure you I'm no expert. I'm just a gentleman user of these products, such as yourselves, and all I'm doing is putting my view across. I am always delighted though to accept a contrary view. So if you ever take issue with anything that I say, or you've got a different thought on it, please, please put a comment in the comment section below. I really enjoy interacting with the people who watch the channel and tell me where I've made mistakes, um, make suggestions to me. I've been doing a lot of fragrance reviews on the cheaper end of products. I've got a few nicks now with this. Christ, I have butchered myself. Uh, this must be quite a, you know, this Franken razor is truly a monster. And I, um, I do enjoy taking your views of points of view, your suggestions, and I will definitely endeavor to review some of the products which people suggest, um, particularly with the fragrances, which are generally affordable. Because I, you know, the ethos for me is all about cost effectiveness. I'm not a wealthy man. I can't afford to be buying expensive things. So for me, you know, uh, it's got to be a reasonable price. And I'm delighted to, that so many of you enjoy reasonably priced uh, fragrances and products as well, which is good. Makes my job a lot easier. There we go. So that's two passes. Uh, a fair few nicks on the skin, but probably more to do with this razor than anything else. So there we go. Let me just dampen my face off before we go to the next stage. Wow, it is a spectacular morning out here, I gotta say. I mean, I don't care what anybody says. Living in the UK, having this temperate climate that we have, I mean, it's early November now. Uh, on days like today, I can quite happily put up with a bit of rain because the world could not look better, I have to say. So, there we go. That's been my initial shave. I am going now to use some Humphreys Witch Hazel. Been using this for well over a year. Look at the size of that bloody fly that's landed on there. Um, there's loads of them. Uh, Witch Hazel is uh, an astringent, anti-inflammatory, anti-infection. Quite useful actually, being as I've cut myself a few little times, a few little nicks there. Doesn't sting, no alcohol and you just know that it's protecting the skin. In fact, it's a skin toner. So if you've got a bit left on your hands, you can put it anywhere on the skin. It doesn't harm, keeps the skin in good order, keeps you protected, keeps you looking your very best, which is important when you get into your 50s, as I am. I am 50 years of age and need all the help that I can get. So there we go, what am I gonna use now? Well, after the astringent, the witch hazel, I always traditionally use some balm, Balm always works for me, it soothes the skin and makes my skin feel that much better. Replaces some of the hydration that's been rubbed off. So a little bit of nothing more than Nivea for men. Really cheap and cheerful stuff. Normally pick it up for about two pounds in the local budget toiletries 
shops in the UK. If you're UK based you'll be familiar with the terms of Wilkinson's and uh, Superdrug and they are normally on sort of perpetual special offer in these shops so you need never pay a lot of money for them. There we go that feels great. I tell you what chaps having a shave in the outdoors in direct sunlight is one of life's greatest pleasures and I can only recommend it to you if you haven't had the chance to do it get outdoors it doesn't matter if you cut yourself get outdoors get feel those ultraviolet rays on your skin and you will enjoy your shave all that much more in fact it's a bit too bright today because I'm squinting to look into the camera so I've used my balm I've used my witch hazel um, I've had my shave there's one more step I want to smell like James Bond today oh no well, that's not true there's no saying that James Bond ever used Eucharist but I'm going to use Eucharist today as my signature scent of November the 5th today now it's a very small bottle it's an Eau de Parfum which is you know the one of the more potent uh, versions of gentleman's fragrance of course sitting above Eau de Toilette and Eau de Cologne and uh, this is a very small bottle it's only about 50 milliliters but it costs 75 pounds this is pound for pound the most expensive fragrance that I've ever bought that's how much I really like it and uh, unlikely will I spend that much again to be honest because much as I love it it's a lot of money to spend on a fragrance as I seep more blood out um, but it's got a bit of heritage it's got a bit of tradition I did a review on it if you're interested in learning more about you Chris and its unique characteristics as possibly the Bond villains best fragrance um, have a look at the video I did about a month ago and uh, you'll see more about that in there so I'm going to apply it just a few little squirts three squirts because it's super perfume you don't need a great deal and wow ah, struck immediately by its unique fragrance you you, you don't mistake eucharist for anything else and lay it up with the shave cream it's going to smell great all day it's going to lift my mood in this beautiful glorious sunny day I'm going to be spending the rest of the day outdoors in my hut. I've got the wood burner uh, fired up up there. I'm going to have a cup of tea, bit of lunch up here. I'm going to work from my hut this afternoon outdoors. So I'm going to make the most of this glorious autumn day. So to round up, I've had a lovely shave in the outdoors. Oh Christ, blood. Um, and I've done it in homage, perhaps, of the passing of the late, great Sir Sean Connery. Of course, James Bond. I've used some products synonymous with that, uh, that fictitious character. It's so embedded in the style world for us classically dressed gentlemen. So I've done that for him, but also for me because it's a classically beautiful fragrance. And if you haven't had the opportunity to try it, you, Chris, why don't you start with the shave soap, or the cream, rather, it's under £20, it's available on Amazon and all those sort of places and it's a, it's a chunky old tub, you know, it's not a small flimsy thing, it lasts and lasts and lasts, goes on forever uh, and you get a real, hang on, how much is in there? 200 grams, so it's quite a, quite a bit for 20 quid, it doesn't feel that it's expensive at all when you look at it in that context, you don't have to go down the Eau de Parfum, uh, although they do need the toilette which is a lot cheaper as well if you want to go down that route. So thank you for joining me today to celebrate that bond association with Sean Connery and also I wanted to thank you for for helping me or you know entirely being behind really me getting to that 1000 subscriber mark I'm going to use it as a vaulting horse to give you ever better content twice a week once on a Saturday once on a Wednesday going forward as long as we possibly can regardless of what happens in the world so I hope you stick with me I hope you've enjoyed the journey so far I thank you for joining me on the journey and I thank you for joining me for this shave today subscribe give us a thumbs up if you've enjoyed leave us a comment in the comment section below and I look forward to seeing you again very soon until then, take care of yourselves and your families, and I'll see you back soon here in the near future.